All right, y'all, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to actually put your uh, colliders and string bones inside your character. So what we have here is we have our character, right? We've already done all the good the good hard work that we want for our character, which is going over here, making sure that it's a humanoid, we can figure the bones working. And if you're having if you're having blend shapes in your character where they have emotions and you're seeing some abnormal like weird stuff happening, we return blend shape normals from calculate to none. Now that we have that you're going to take this character, you're going to export it with your VRM, export it as a uni VRM. And you're going to get this little folder here. You're going to fill all this out. You know, author, name of, made a model, screenshot it, make make sure it's a T-pose, and you're going to export this out to a folder. Normally I call my folder VRM Workshop, but here we have it as VRM Val. You're going to take that folder where the file was exported, and you're going to drag it into Unity. Once it's done loading, you have a new, you have a new file. This is your VRM that was exported. You're going to drag this right onto the scene. Now you want to make sure that your one that you exported to the folder is now vanished. You click on this button in your inspector. And go over here. And you're going to have a whole new list of stuff here. Now you don't have to worry about this stuff unless you're doing other things with it. But we're going to be worrying about how to make colliders and spring bones work. So I'm going to go to my armature here. And click on down. And we want, we want to see our hair move, right? That's what we're going for. So I'm going to find where my hair is. Here it is. Boom. Here's my hair. So you don't add a component to the bone here. You're going to go to this thing called secondary. Click on this, and you're going to take your hair, drag it right over here to this thing that says root bones. Click it, and now when we play, you will see, once I hit on armature, that if I move it, it moves all the other children that are connected to that bone, which in our case, we have, I think, six bones in here. So now that that's done, we want to add the best part about it, right? We want to add... Good old colliders. To add colliders to your VRM, what you need to do is you need to find where you want said stuff to be working with. You're going to click on head. Unlike with the secondary thing that where we had to go and do all the stuff here, click on your head, add a component, type in VRM, and you will see VRM Spring Moon Collider. You're going to click on this. It's going to give you a little uh, pinkish kind of purplish thing over here. So you can adjust the radius and size with the radius scale right here. And I'm going to move this up on the Y axis to be right here. So that way the bones won't go be like, they won't be clipping through my head. Once I'm done with that, you're going to go over to secondary. You're going to take the head that you have and you're going to drag and put it right in the collider groups. And now when you press play and go over to scene, your character should now have the hair not wanting to go and mess with the inside of your head. Hopefully this helps y'all. And yeah, have a good one.